Hey guys, the aim of this video is to explain why we use thicker wires when we want to carry large currents. So over here I'm going to show you two diagrams. We have diagram 1 with a thin wire and diagram 2 with a thicker wire. So an obvious observation we can make is that the thick wire has more space than the thin wire for the electrons to flow through. And when there's more space to move for the electrons, it means there's less resistance. So when we're looking at wires, the resistance is only made up of two factors that we have to really be concerned with. One is the length of the wire, and the other one is the thickness. So when the wire is longer, it has more resistance because the electrons collide with ions more often. However, for this question, we'll be focusing on the thickness of the wire. And the reason why a thicker wire has less resistance is because it has more space, therefore can carry more electrons. And these electrons carry the current. So the reason why we want less resistance is because it causes significantly less heating. And this heating is quite significant. If the wire gets hot enough, it can actually melt. So to prevent melting. So to summarize, if the current is easy to flow, it has less resistance. So a thicker wire is always better because it carries more electrons, which eases the flow of the current and therefore it has less resistance therefore less heating and therefore the wire is less susceptible to melting. 